the text boxes right and inside this uh, function declare this IP host entry variable and name it as host and just copy this host variable here is equal to DNS dot get host entry and inside the bracket write DNS dot get host name bracket and bracket closed so this method I think I have also shown you when I have shown you how to get the IPs of your computer so if you don't know then go to the previous videos and you can always see the IP address uh, tutorial so just write this and then just below this we will declare uh, for each loop so write like this for each IP address and name it you name your IP address as IP in host which is this variable dot address list and inside your for each loop we will give a condition so what condition we will give this if condition we are going to give so write inside your for each loop write if IP which is this variable IP address variable dot address family equal to address family dot inter network then we are going to return something what we are going to return the IP address so this will take your local IP address or your network IP address of your computer and it will return in the form of string otherwise it will return the IP like this so this is also the local IP so if it don't have anything to return it will return this IP address which is your local host okay so just make this method like this and if you want you can just pause the video and copy it and now we are going to set this into our text boxes so just go to this client one IP text box and copy its name which is text lo local IP go to your mm, code once again and wherever you have declared these socket is equal to new socket inside your public form one method where your initialize component method is also there inside this function you write the name of your text box for IP dot text is equal to just copy this get local IP mm, function name paste it here and close it okay so what it will do is it will set the local IP into your text box right in a same way just select this client 2 IP IP text box name and copy it once again go to your code and just below your client 1 IP address just paste it there dot text and just copy this and paste it here so because I'm using uh, this application on one computer it in the client 1 and client 2 will have the same IP address that's why I'm giving this IP addresses okay now when I run the program set automatically the local IP or the IP address into my both client 1 and client 2 text boxes that's what I wanted okay so I don't need to find out my IP address and then type it here 
now what i will do is i will declare a new method for callback function so just below your get ip method you can make it here and i name it as private void message callback and in the bracket give this i asynchronous async result and give it a variable name and now function closed okay and inside this function i will make first a try catch block so inside this message callback function you have given this i async result and give it a variable name and now the try catch block so like this make a try and a catch block and give message box to give uh, the exception okay and in this try block we will write the code so first of all we will uh, declare a int variable like this so write int size is equal to sck which is our socket variable dot and receive from and inside these brackets we pass two arguments one is this async result variable copy this and paste it here comma ref ep remote which is our endpoint variable okay so like this and then we will write a condition for this size so i will declare uh, the if condition and close the bracket like this so this if condition will check if there is information on our network or not okay so if size is greater than 0 then what we will do is we will get the data so i will declare a byte array like this byte and then square bracket and give it a variable name in my case received data is equal to new byte and give the size of the bytes and then i will get the data so copy this variable here is equal to bracket byte square brackets and then just copy this a result here dot async state okay now after this receiving the data i will convert these bytes into string okay so just below your receive data code just write this so write ascii encoding and give it a variable name e encoding in my case is equal to new ascii encoding bracket and bracket closed and declare a string variable called receive message is equal to e encoding which is this variable dot get string and bracket inside this bracket we will pass our receive message byte array here so copy this and paste it here so this will convert our received byte into the string message right and now what is left is the displaying of message so whatever we received we converted into string and now we will display the message into the list box so what i will do is i will go to my form i will just select this list box which will contain our message and i will just copy the name of this list box from here copy it go to the code once again and just below this string received message variable paste it here dot items dot add and in the bracket bracket closed we will pass this message okay like this 
and if you want to show that somebody is sending the message then you can just add here the name of the person i i will name it as friend for example okay so it will first show friend or the name whatever you enter here then the message okay now after this uh, method so just go outside your if loop or not a loop but if condition and just outside your if condition we will declare one more byte array variable like this which is like a buffer 